And it looks like the future of mobility is all electric. And now Germany's Mercedes-Benz, it expects to have factories producing exclusively electric vehicles by second half of the decade. Ever woken up expecting a full-on electric revolution, only to have the rug pulled from under your feet? Well, brace yourselves, because that's precisely what Mercedes-Benz, the luxury car juggernaut, just did. In a jaw-dropping move, they slammed the brakes on electric vehicle production, opting instead for a return to the trusty combustion engine. And let me tell you, it sent shockwaves rippling through the entire automotive industry. Just a while ago, Mercedes was waving the green flag, promising to ditch gas guzzlers and go all in on EVs by 2030. They were leading the charge, vowing to rid their showrooms of anything that didn't plug in. But now, it's like they hit the brakes hard, leaving EV enthusiasts scratching their heads. What's the deal? Why the sudden change of heart? Well, rewind to a few years back when governments worldwide laid down the law, mandating automakers to go electric or face hefty fines. Mercedes, not one to shy away from a challenge, jumped on the EV bandwagon early. They were the poster child for a greener tomorrow. But fast forward to today, and the EV market is in turmoil. Prices are plummeting faster than a lead balloon, with EVs taking a whopping 30% nosedive. Ouch, that's gotta hurt, especially for a company banking on an electric future. So why the cold feet, Mercedes? Why ditch the EV dream and cozy back up to combustion engines? Well, it turns out, things aren't as rosy as they seemed. Despite Mercedes's best efforts, EVs only accounted for a measly 11% of their total sales in 2023. That's quite bad, isn't it? Mercedes-Benz opening its first uh, dedicated EV charging hub in North America. Now, Mercedes isn't just slamming the brakes on EVs. They're doing a full-on U-turn. Remember their bold claim of going all electric by 2030? Well, scratch that. Now they're saying only half of their fleet will be electric or hybrid by then. Talk about a plot twist. To be honest, the car industry is going through some serious turbulence lately, especially when it comes to EVs. It's not just Mercedes-Benz, the whole gang is feeling the heat. You've got big shots like Tesla's Elon Musk talking about slower sales, and newcomers like Rivian and Lucid struggling to pick up the pace in production. Even the old guards like GM and Ford are hitting the brakes on their EV projects. It's like everyone suddenly got cold feet about electric cars. Way back in 2021, Mercedes was riding high on the electric wave. They were all in, talking big about how half of their cars would be either plug-in hybrids or fully electric by 2025. They even had this grand plan called Ambition 2039 Air, where they pledged to go fully electric wherever it made sense in the market. It was bold, it was ambitious, but now it seems like they're dialing it back a bit. In their latest powwow with investors, Mercedes is singing a different tune. They're playing it safe, saying hybrids and EVs will hit the 50% mark in the latter half of the 2020s, but only in places where the market conditions are favorable. And here's the kicker. The big boss CEO of Mercedes, Ola Kalenius, revealed some information in an interview. He basically said that traditional gas guzzlers are the ones raking in the dough, while EVs are bleeding money due to lackluster sales. I don't think anyone had ever thought that the uh, once in a century transformation of the auto industry would be a straight line. Uh, there will be peaks and troughs uh, and things like build up of charging infrastructure. According to Kalenius, making EVs affordable or even comparable in price to gas cars is still a distant dream, at least another decade away. Let's crunch some numbers. In 2030, Mercedes managed to sell a total of 401,943 plug-in hybrids, a whopping 20.5% increase from the previous year. But here's the plot twist. EV sales actually took a nosedive, plummeting by 12.5%, while gas car sales skyrocketed by a staggering 61.3%. It's clear as day that electric cars are losing the popularity contest within Mercedes's lineup. The whole car market's in a bit of a pickle. The car market's feeling the heat from all sides. Slow economic growth, tangled supply chains, and some serious trade tensions between big players like the US, China, and the EU are shaking things up for 2024. Now, let's zoom in on Mercedes-Benz. They're gearing up for a rocky start, expecting sales to take a hit in the first quarter. And guess what's adding fuel to the fire? Component shortages, especially those pesky 48-volt systems from Bosch, are putting the brakes on production. 
It's like they're trying to run a marathon with one leg tied behind their back, but Mercedes isn't backing down. They've got a secret weapon up their sleeve, the MMA platform. It's like the Swiss Army knife of car platforms, designed for both electric vehicles and good old combustion engines. What makes a Mercedes a Mercedes in the electric era? Our ambition is clear, defining class by elevating the game across the board. Picture sleek models like the CLA, GLB, and even a pint-sized G-Wagon rolling off this futuristic platform later in 2024. Now, let's shift gears to the electric scene. Over in the US, Ford's feeling the pinch too. They're slashing prices on their Mustang Mach-E by a whopping $8,000 after a sluggish January. And get this, they're pumping the brakes on F-150 Lightning production. Can you believe it? Scaling back on electric truck production because demand isn't revving up like they hoped. The Biden administration is also slowly dropping their ambitious EV plans. Originally, they wanted a whopping 67% of new cars to be electric by 2032. But now, they're rethinking that pedal to the metal approach, especially since EVs only accounted for a measly 7% of the market in 2023. But here's the kicker. It's not just about supply and demand. There's a new player on the scene, and it's giving everyone a run for their money. It's none other than China. Yup, you heard that right. Even Tesla's feeling the heat. But what's the big deal? Well, China's not just any competitor. They're kicking up their own EV game, and it's sending shockwaves through the industry. Think cutting-edge technology, fierce competition, and a market hungry for electric rides. Suddenly, the race to dominate the EV landscape just got a whole lot more intense. Even Honda is pulling the plug on a $5 billion plan to dive into the electric vehicle game. Can you believe it? Investors are scratching their heads in disbelief. Honda had teamed up with none other than General Motors to cook up some affordable EVs. But guess what? All those blueprints are now gathering dust on the shelf. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Saturn and Space Hub. The future EV Honda will create. Their grand vision? Using GM's Ultium battery technology to churn out electric rides priced under $30,000. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, in the midst of this EV market mayhem, it seemed like a gamble not worth taking. And speaking of heavy hitters, let's talk about GM for a moment. Even their top dog, Mary Barra, is sounding the alarm bells. Making EVs cheaper? She's saying it's as tough as nailing jelly to a wall. That's how tricky it's getting out there. Now, onto the heavyweight bout between Mercedes-Benz and its arch nemesis, BMW's CEO is taking a different route and placing a bold bet on hydrogen engines. Yeah, you heard me right, hydrogen. They're rewriting the playbook on the whole EV craze, setting their sights on hydrogen-powered rides by 2025. Oliver Zips, the big cheese over at BMW, is singing praises for hydrogen engines, calling them a worldwide game changer. So, what's the deal with these hydrogen marvels? Picture this, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles boasting a mind-blowing range of up to 800 miles. And they're not just green machines, they're speed demons too. Take the BMW 5 hydrogen, for example. This SUV isn't just about saving the planet. It's about tearing up the asphalt with over 400 horsepower under the hood and a lightning fast zero to 60 sprint in just six seconds. Now, that's what I call performance with a green twist. But wait, there's more. BMW's got a whole lineup of hydro heroes set to hit the streets in 2024. So, while everyone's caught up in the electric frenzy, BMW's shifting gears and setting its sights on a hydrogen powered future. Hydrogen-powered vehicles may be making a comeback as concerns rise over the future of electric cars. So now, why did Mercedes decide to go back to combustion cars? Here's the scoop. The electric vehicle market is a battleground, with Tesla and a Chinese BYD leading the charge. BYD pulled a sneaky move to dominate the market and wipe out US EV brands. Now, Mercedes doesn't want to get caught in the crossfire. They've built their reputation on luxury, and they're not about to get tangled in a price war. But here's the kicker. They also don't want to look like chumps by pricing their EVs next to Chinese competitors, selling for a fraction of the cost. And if that wasn't enough. China slammed the brakes on exporting rare earth minerals, like nickel and lithium. Why does that matter? Well, these minerals are the lifeblood of EV batteries. And guess who relies on China for 80% of their supply? That's right, the good old US of A 
Now, here's where things get sticky. With China tightening the screws on rare earth exports, it's going to be a whole lot harder for US car makers to get their hands on these essential materials. And you know what that means? Yep, you guessed it. Prices are going to skyrocket faster than a race car on the Autobahn. While US manufacturers are left scrambling for resources, BYD, being a Chinese company, has a backdoor to those precious minerals. That means they can keep churning out cheap EVs while other brands are left in the dust. But wait, there's more. Let's talk about the dark side of those shiny EV batteries. Turns out, mining for these raw materials is no walk in the park. It's causing environmental havoc, from water pollution to endangering the lives of thousands of children in mining communities worldwide. Take Tesla, for example. They had to bring back over a million cars because of some autopilot mishaps. And GM? They're in hot water too with their Bolt EVs catching fire post-crash. Even Ford's not immune, having to recall a batch of Mustang mach -E's due to battery woes. Not exactly painting a picture of reliability, right? Also, fixing up an EV isn't as straightforward as a pit stop at your local mechanic. These cutting edge rides can rack up some hefty repair bills, especially if you mess up the battery. We're talking big bucks here, not just spare change. So, while EVs might be the future of transportation, there's a price to pay, both figuratively and literally. And as Mercedes navigates this minefield of competition, supply chain woes, and environmental concerns, one thing's for sure, the road ahead is anything but smooth. But hey, it's time to hear from you. Are you ready to plug into the EV craze, or are you sticking with the tried and true combustion engines? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and know what you think.